What's up guys, I'm going to show you how to optimize Black Ops so that you get rid of most of the choppiness. Every once in a while it still gives a little stutter, but it's not bad, not nearly as bad. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that and get rid of the lag. <clears throat> so first thing you're going to do, is you're going to go to your start menu, Windows 7 people, it's a lot easier for and Vista. Go to your start menu and uh, type in the search bar. GP edit period MSC then you're gonna hit enter right it's gonna pop up this little thing you're gonna go to <coughs> administrative template and then network double click network look for QOS packet schedule double click that limit reservable bandwidth you wanna disable that or uh, if it's if you don't trust what I'm telling you, you could keep it enabled or whatever. It's gonna say 20%. Make that zero. Hit apply and OK. <clears throat> What's that doing? Is it's giving you more of your own bandwidth back that was reserved for Microsoft's use. Well, sorry, Microsoft, you don't pay the bills. Uh, so once you do that, you're gonna close that, right? Then you're gonna go back to the start menu and you're gonna type in. MS config <clears throat> then you're gonna hit enter then you're gonna go to boot right once you click on boot your Windows XP user is just gonna be totally different skip this step because I don't know what to tell you if you got quads and duals and all that stuff for processors it's for processing go to boot advanced you'll notice yours is probably most likely checked off and it says number one you're gonna click on it and click on the number the highest number you have in that box basically because that's the amount of processors you have that you're using alright then you're gonna hit OK <clears throat> then you're gonna go to services hide all Microsoft services find your services narrow it down meaning uncheck the stuff you don't need like let's see I don't need this 3D driver thing because I don't have 3D glasses and all that stuff right now. And this right here, if you have this already, that's because you already downloaded my thing in the info box. That's for priorities to save. You're going to leave that alone. So you'll uncheck everything you don't need to start up with, right? And then the same thing for startup itself. You want to get mo most of that shit unchecked because it's going to use a lot of processing when you're starting up the computer and when you're playing video games. Hit apply hit OK then you're going to restart the computer once you restart and come back and see my video again we can continue and that's what we're doing now alright so once you've done that everything's cool and then what you need to do is you need to hit control alt delete bam start task manager pop it mofo up close it in the background don't completely close it right now start up the game once you start up the game hit the console button if you don't know what that is, it's the button. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you the real name of it because you don't even know which one it is, probably, for those of you that are noobs. You're going to hit the, the button right before number one on the keyboard. Once you pop that up, if it says console, we'll continue. If it don't say console, you need to go to settings and multiplayer main menu that you're in. Then you need to click on game in that setting. Now, you're going to see on the right side, it'll say console, blah, 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 on or off. You're going to click that thing on, go back to the multiplayer main menu where operations and all that stuff is located and you're going to turn the console on once you turn the console on you're going to type in the following you're going to type in these right here and the 90 slash 120 that's for my use you use that too you could either most people are using 90 so you'll type in all this right here bam to 90 and then you'll hit enter I made a range between 90 and 120. Mine works best with my graphics card at 120. Lot, most of you again will be at 80, 90. So you'll set that. Bam. The default I think says 80 or 85. So once you set that, hit enter. Then you'll do the same for this SV FPS. You'll set that to 90 or 120. Hit enter. Then you'll do this one. That's for all. Uh, I believe that's for if you have multiple graphics graphic cards like duels stuff like that that most likely already be default one so you probably won't have to mess with that I just threw that in there as an extra 
for those of you that want to turn it off, you would put zero. And then you'll do max rate 25,000. Now that's for the servers brought to you by GameServer.com. That's so that you have less lag when you're in their servers and uh, Trey actually fixes the game problems itself. You will notice that 25,000 better than that 5,000 that's default. Once you do that, you will uh, close the game, open the game back up to let everything take effect. Now, go back through and check these to make sure that they're actually your new settings. So what you'll do is you'll go pop the console back up, you'll type this in, and it'll pop up the rest across the, from it. You want to make sure that it's exactly what you typed in and it's not still set to default. You will notice it'll say a default setting, but don't read that one. Read the other one. That's just numbers. That's your setting. Once everything matches up and you know it's still in there correctly, you'll hit the start button to minimize the game. Do not close the game. Hit the start button to minimize it and you'll see a pop up at the bottom. Then that's when you pop up the process or the task manager processors. Or processors. Blah, 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 blah. I'm so sick of this game. <laughs> Straight up. Oh my god. But yeah, once you pop that up. Now you'll notice Black Ops is running in there because you have Black Ops still running in the background, noobs. I had to do extra explaining. I know all you people that know what you're doing, you don't really want to hear it, but I'm sorry. And then Game Overlay, that'll be in there too. Those are the two main ones you want to mess with. So basically, click on, right click Game Overlay. UAC, Virtualization, On. Set Priorities, High. Save Priorities, we'll get to how you'll have that. You don't have it yet. And then you'll do the same thing for Black Ops MP multiplayer. UAC on, priorities high. Now, mine's already set like this because I already did it, obviously, and save priorities. Now, note once you use this program, they'll pop this up in here. It'll take a couple times to actually start saving it. So, whenever you start the game up, do the task manager priorities just to make sure that it's all still set up the same. And then go back and click on your game and you want to be in the main menu while you're setting priorities you don't want to be like loading in a server and shit and then do that and then you're good right if you have open dns updater or uh... something like that i turn that to uh, normal i think left it at normal cause that's kinda a biggie so do all that stuff bam you're all good start the game back up click on it go play let me know what happens now if you're still a little bit skippy and you've tried 90 try 120 and for both of them and if it's still a little try something in between you know just like mess with it because everybody's graphics are gonna be a little bit different so you're gonna require a different rate of FPS so let me know what happens and for the priority saver you'll go right here Oh, don't mind that. That was something I was going to download, but I said no. So, go to my main channel. Hold on. You'll be on my main subscription or whatever. And then you'll go to my other video, and in there will be a link. Bam. Click that link like I already did three or two other times. And it's at the bottom, depending on what kind of... Uh, Windows you're running 64 bit or 32 you'll click on one of these you'll install it once you install it restart or maybe you can even log off log back in and then you'll notice once you do go back and set your priorities again for the game it will say save priorities at the bottom check mark so hopefully it works for you if it don't leave a comment please vote subscribe let me know what the business is I give 24 7 help if you don't get a reply right away check back because there will be a reply for you I guarantee it I'm still looking up stuff to try and fix all these problems because the patch just came out again today and it didn't fix Jack Squad shit if anything the game ran better last night than it has ran the whole fucking time so good luck to everybody and hopefully uh, you're happy you spent sixty like three dollars on this fucking game when you probably could have went got Medal of Honor <laughs> sorry to say Holler back.